Welcome to the Pilates Show Mondays, where we take our Pilates body and brain out into the real world. I'm your host, Elizabeth Goyer, and today we're going to be talking about tips and tricks for improving posture in the office, at work, or if we work from home. So first, to start with how we usually sit. Um, this chair actually is a perfect example of how a lot of chairs are made in a way that makes it difficult to sit well. So a lot of us tend to kind of be working kind of like this. So you can see my feet aren't even actually touching the ground. My knees are higher in, than my hips and I'm totally slouching and collapsed through the low back. Um, some people will sit more at the front and do this, which as you can see is also really rough on my neck and on my upper back. So ergonomic chairs have become a thing, um, but a lot of them focus on having perfect back support and sort of miss the possibility that we might have our own built-in back support that we should be able to access when we sit. So I like to use two smart spine props to help me with my posture when I'm working. Um, the first one is the disc. If I am on a flat surface, I can make the little divots for my sit bones and just sit up on it so it helps support my sit bones. But in a chair like this that slopes backwards, I actually use it to prop up the back of my sacrum and my pelvis a little bit so that I can find a flatter surface. This automatically brings my feet to the floor and lifts my hips so that they're slightly higher than my knees, which is a much better position for my hip flexors. Then if I'm reading or if I'm using the computer, I actually like to use the globe and put it on my head. This forces me to keep my neck long as I read or as I type. And then even if this gets annoying after a while, I can take it away. And then I still have that same sensation of growing long against the weight of the globe. So the globe and the disc are absolutely my two go-tos when I am working from home or working at a computer. Thank you for joining us. Feel free to comment below on our forum here on our website, on Facebook or on Twitter. We would love to hear from you with your feedback or your comments. Thank you.